Alright, so here we are, uh, part two. We're going to paint the guns. Um, I have my two colors. We have the black and the brown. These are going to be our base colors. Um, green is going to be our sort of over the top color. That's going to uh, uh, be the second layer. But uh, for our base color, we're just going to put these two colors and that'll get rid of all of the uh, clear. And then we'll go over it again with these colors and the um, green. So I'm going to start out with the brown. We're just going to do nice even strips. I also have set up on the box. Um, sorry. I have set up on the box um, my rail uh, system. And then over there in the corner, we have uh, the other two rails. Actually, we're going to put these up here. So, uh, sorry for all these ants. Uh, it's morning time and they're all out. Uh, also, disregarding the background noise, but there's lawn mowers and stuff. Sorry for that. So, we're just going to do some nice, easy strips. Alright, so now that we have our brown base coat, we're going to use our black. And uh, being that this is spray paint, make sure you're in a well ventilated area and stuff. Uh, you know the drill. So we're going to do strips of black. One of the main reasons for the black is just to darken up the brown, I guess. So, uh, please excuse, excuse me, I'm almost out of black, so, uh, might have to go in inside and get another can or something. So now for the, um, the rails. We're gonna take these off because I'm just gonna do these green. Um, I'll take those inside later. But this is gonna be camo too. The brown almost looks red, so uh, that's mainly why we're using the black, as I said. Alright. So that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go inside, let this dry for about 10 minutes, and then and then I'll be back for the uh, some green. And I'm just going to do it to one side, and then, um, well, in 10 minutes I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the other side. And but I'm not going to show you that because it's sort of repetitive of what I just did. So, I'm only showing you what I'm doing to one side, and everything will be repeated on the other side. So, uh, right back. Alright, so we're back. I had to move it inside because the uh, guy doing my lawn had to move it inside, so I don't want to go back outside. So I'm on my porch. Uh, now, you want to have fans and ventilation on if you're doing it inside or uh, a closed space. Be careful if you Both sides are painted. Um, now, oh, also, this has been painted pretty much. Um, still has a little bit of clear, and you can sort of still see a little bit through it, but the green should take care of that. So, 
Now, we're going to be using some sort of stencils. Um, I have two pieces, uh, two leaves or plants or whatever, and we're going to use these to sort of give a good pattern. I also have my two um, rails. These I'm just going to do solid green. But um, so yeah, let's get started. Grab your green paint first. Give it a good shake. I noticed that Krylon paint seemed to last longer. Not only the uh, the paint that's been applied, but the can seem to have more paint and stuff in them. So uh, let's get started. So basically, we're going to start from the back, and um, we're just going to sorry, we're just going to do like lay it on or something, and then just do a quick brush over it. And uh, I'm going to do this to both sides. I'm also going to do it to this, and then I'll be back with the finished product. See you in a minute. 